Here are five critical things you probably didn't know about reality seeds and sapling trees in Fortnite. Number one, this is the craziest trick by far. You can make a tree's fruit regrow by using two chug splashes or a shield keg, a chug cannon, slurp trucks, or slurp barrels. Basically, any slurp liquid is going to make the fruit regrow. Essentially, this speeds up the timer on your reality tree and makes them grow back right away. Two chug splashes or a keg will make it come right back. What's really crazy about this is that it can be done on as many trees as you want. You can only do it once per tree in a single game, but there might be five trees in your vicinity and you can do it to each one of those. This is almost like an infinite gold bar glitch or an infinite loot glitch. Number two, each tree takes about 10 to 15 minutes to grow the fruit back across all games. So if you drop into a hot area, loot your tree and then die, you probably won't have fruit on your tree if you drop back into the same spot immediately. But if you loot your tree and then play for about 12 minutes, die and re-queue into a game, you'll probably have fruit again on that tree by the time you land. This timer runs across all game modes as well, and your tree stays in the same position across all game modes too. If you land on your tree and there's no fruit on it, you can always use chug splashes or a keg to make the fruit grow right back. Number three, you can replant your tree using any seed and it keeps the same rarity level of your fruit. Each time your fruit grows back, it grows back slightly stronger than before until it reaches a mythic fruit level. In which case, after picking it, the tree will disappear permanently at the end of the game and you'll have to replant. Just a note, when you get a mythic fruit, there's only one fruit on the tree. Number four, you can pickaxe the fruit off of a tree to loot it faster. This is really important if you land in a hot zone and you need a gun fast. Remove the picking timer and just whack the fruit right off the tree. Careful not to hit the actual tree though, because if you break the tree, you don't get any of the loot that's on it. Number five, if you plant your tree next to a slurp truck or slurp barrels, you can guarantee that you'll always have fruit or even double fruit on your tree. A really good spot is next to the dock in Loot Lake, shown here, next to this big slurp truck in the water. You can plant it right at the edge of the water, shown here. This area also has lots of coolers with splashes and generally great loot. You can also plant your tree next to slurp barrels if you can get it close enough to splash the tree. They actually have a fairly large splash radius that goes through walls, but you'll need at least two barrels hit to splash the tree. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Shinobi out.